What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dee Dee, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> nah, for real. Um, I'm just gonna talk about how to get through a breakup. Um, yeah, how to get through a breakup. As y'all know, I just went through a breakup or whatever. Um, yeah, I just went through a breakup, and a lot of people be DMing me and asking me, like, how did you get over it? How did you get through it? Um, what steps did I take to get through my breakup? What steps did I take to better myself, to move on and move around? Um, first thing I want to say is learn how to love yourself again. Learn how to be by yourself. That's the number. That's the key to getting through a breakup. Learn how to be by yourself. Cause if you don't know how to be by yourself, you won't get through that breakup. And that's just a fact. Because I hate being lonely, y'all. Like that's my biggest pet peeve. Like I don't like being lonely. I don't like being by myself. I always feel like I need a crowd. Not a crowd, but like I always feel like I need to be around people to be happy. So to me, that's like the number one thing is learn how to be by yourself learn, learn how to be lonely learn how to be your your own best friend um the second thing learn how to love yourself um when you're in a relationship the other person is always telling you like you're beautiful i miss you i love you you know all the stuff that you you know you don't really hear from other people probably on the daily so it's like when you hear it from that person, that love that they're showing you is like, okay, you know, like you happy about it. You know, you feel good about yourself. Learn how to do that for yourself. Learn how to wake up and be like walking past the mirror. Damn, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like be, be happy within yourself. Love 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 yourself. That's the second thing to get through a breakup is love yourself because if you don't love yourself you will go through depression like you will go through a very dark spell and it's like it's unnecessary when you can just go pamper yourself um get your hair done get your nails done go get your makeup beat just because you want just because you can just because you want to like do for yourself boy like yeah learn how to love yourself again um the third thing i would say Stay away from your ex's social media. Don't go lurking. Don't watch their page. Don't see what they're doing. Um, don't see if they've been active or whatever the case may be. Like, stay off their social medias. If you have to unfollow them, block them, whatever you have to do, do it. Um, for me, I just, I believe we unfollowed each other. And I just stayed off her shit because I really didn't give a fuck about what she was posting. I didn't care about nothing, not even a little bit. So, it's like, you know, like, I never saw nothing, so it never bothered me. You know what I'm saying? So, if you stay off of your ex's social media, that'll help you. It's hard as hell, y'all. Trust me, it's hard. But it's worth it because you'll learn to not forget about that person, but forget about that person. You know what I'm saying? Like... Because when you're in a relationship, like me, I was in a relationship for two years, or almost two years. That's That was like a daily thing. Like, she was on my seat first on Facebook. So, whenever I got on Facebook, all her stuff would pop up first. So, with us not being together, I would have to go search her information, search her name, search what she's been posting, all that stuff. Like, And that's just unnecessary. Like, you don't need to see what this person is doing 24-7. Like, that's not, that has nothing to do with you. Not even a little bit. That's your ex. Y'all have no ties anymore. There should be no reason why you should be even looking at their social media. Right? Right. That was number three, I think. Number four, I would have to say, I don't even know, y'all. Like, I just... I isolate myself. I would say that would be number four. Isolate yourself for a little bit. Isolate yourself. Isolate yourself. Isolate yourself from negative energy. I don't care if it's your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your best friend. When you're going through a breakup, you need to be away from negative energy and you need to be around all positive energy. Like, with my last relationship, um, we used to... Well, I wouldn't even say we used to do nothing because when we broke up, she had a problem with me being around people, but I wouldn't be around her because I isolated myself from her. She was a negative energy in my life, and I felt that I needed to be away from that. 
Um, so yeah, remove all negative energy. And if that person is the negative energy in your life, then you need to remove it, period. It's hard, definitely, but it is what it is. Um, fifth thing I would say is to get through a breakup in a healthy manner, don't end badly. Do not end your relationship bad. Make sure your relationship ends solid. Not even solid, but solid. To where you can call that person a month from now, a year from now, like, damn, how you been, bro? You good? How's life been going? You know, like, don't end badly. We ended badly, but hey, you know, it's life. It is what it is. But I'm not sweating it. I'm not tripping off of it because it's life. You know, everything's not going to go the way that you want it to go every single time. So the fact that we ended badly was just kind of like, it was a smack in the face to her, but it was just kind of like a, to me, like, shit happens. Like, it is what it is. Um, I'll give y'all one more. Um, six. Do not feed into the pity party. Do not feed into the pity party, the sadness, the phone calls, the paragraphs, the messages. Don't feed into that bullshit. Because if you focused on yourself, you're focused on yourself. Therefore, you need to stay focused on yourself, period. Whether y'all get back together, whether y'all don't, whether you don't know, whether they don't know, whatever the case may be, who cares? When you go through a breakup, you're supposed to be focused on yourself. Whether it's a break, a breakup, whatever. Focus on yourself. Learn stuff about yourself. Focus on yourself. Really look at yourself and say, is this where, is this the person that I want to be? And when I looked at myself and said that, the answer was no. This isn't the person I want to be. This isn't where I want to be in life. I don't want to be in this same position two years from now. I didn't elevate in that relationship. We were in the same position for two years, and that bothered me. Yes, we had a house and all those things, but other than that, there was no elevation. You need to elevate in a relationship. A relationship is supposed to help you move up the ladder, not down the ladder. You get what I'm saying? So always make sure that that person is pushing you to be your best person. To be your best person, literally, for real. But like I said, don't feed into the pity party do not ever make yourself feel like you're the villain and they're the victim there is no victim or villain in a breakup like unless somebody got cheated on okay that's different then obviously there's a villain and a victim but if it's just like a uh out of anger breakup or whatever the case may be or shit just went too far whatever the case may be don't let nobody tell you that you're wrong for feeling the way that you feel because I tended to let myself do that. I used to let people tell me that I was supposed to feel a certain way. And that's not the case because you're not. Don't feed into the pity party, the sadness, the, the, the depressed messages, all that. Don't feed into it. Not even a little bit. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what else to tell y'all. Um, A lot of people have been asking me, like, how did I get through my breakup? How have I been? I'm fine, y'all. I'm great. Um, I'm happy with who I talk to now. Um, I'm perfectly fine. I'm living my best life, y'all. Like, I'm not consuming myself with what she has going on. I'm not consuming myself with the negative bullshit, the, the negative energy, none of that. Not, nothing at all. If, if it's meant for me and her to have a cordial type of relationship, we will. Or we, whatever the case may be. But if it's not... Oh, well, like, I'm not sweating it. I'm not focused on it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm really in a happy place in my life. Like, I feel great. Like, I'm really in a happy, I'm, I'm really in a happy place in my life. And I feel like nobody can take that from me. Nobody can knock that. Nobody, no, you just can't. So, I just want y'all to know, getting through a breakup is not hard. No matter how much you love somebody, no matter how much you're in love with somebody, put yourself first. Love you first. Like, I want to get emotional, but for real, love yourself first. Don't ever let a relationship steer you away from who you are, for real. Because sometimes, us females, we do that. We let relationships steer us away from who we are and what we're used to. Then it becomes a problem because when we try to do what we used to, it don't feel right no more. But then it's like, what am I used to? I'm not used to that. That don't feel right, but that don't feel right because we've steered away from who we truly are. And... Yeah, I don't have no hard feelings against my ex or, you know, I'm dead to her. So, I don't have any hard feelings against her. Um, yeah, I wouldn't consider her an ex. I don't have any hard feelings towards her as a person. I hope she does great in life, like I said in the last video. But, go through a breakup with positive people. 
don't be by yourself don't don't be by yourself but isolate yourself from the negative bullshit focus on yourself learn to love yourself learn to be lonely and don't feed into the pity party like that's all i got for you i love y'all so much this channel is going to be it's dd's channel now um there is no more said in dd i've mentioned that in the last video and in this video i'll have a vlog coming for y'all most likely saturday morning because i'm getting lit tomorrow i'm gonna have fun tomorrow and i'm gonna put it on youtube um i'm probably vlog tomorrow too because i think i'm going on a date date we're gonna date tomorrow so i'm gonna vlog that for y'all um no i'm not showing her face none of that y'all when i see her no you won't sorry but yeah i'm in a happy place in my life and i don't want everybody to be like oh you moved on so fast and all that like i haven't moved on y'all i'm really just living my life so don't be in the comments talking about some bullshit because it's not the case at all I'm just really living my best life and I'm focused on myself. And the last month, somebody has been making me very happy and showing me things that I haven't seen. So, it is what it is, y'all. It's life. You live and you learn. You do better. And you get better. Life gets easier. Money get longer. No, I'm just playing. I love you all so much. Um, I'm going to probably film a Q&A later on today and post it too. I'm posting these back to back. So, I'll probably post a Q&A later on. Um, just so you all can get to know me a little more on this channel. Because it was a couple's channel and now it's not. So, yeah. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Video in the next video. Bye.